which product demo. So as of late, I've had lots of questions about our Easy Stitch products. Um, you know, can, can this scroll bar work with these sidebars? So I thought I would just kind of go over all of our products and kind of explain everything. So first of all, everything works with everything. That is the one biggest benefit of the Easy Stitch. Whether you have six inch scroll rods, 16 inch sidebars, six inch sidebars, 48 inch scroll rods, they all work together. So any scroll rod can work with any sidebar. So let's go over a couple of the basics. Let's start with the scroll rods. The scroll rods come in two versions. One is the webbing. This webbing is uh, it's a heavy duty canvas that is simply stapled right onto the rod. Um, and once you uh, get it, you will um, hand sew or machine sew your fabric right to this webbing, put it in some scroll rod or sidebar, scroll it up, and you're ready to go. The second is um, the tape. Now, the tape already comes attached to the scroll rods. You will then uh, attach the tape for fabric um, onto your fabric, place it on, scroll it up, and you're ready to go. The fabric, the tape is a little bit easier to use because you can uh, put on and take off, switch out uh, projects so easy because it's just, you know, ripping off Velcro. Now the tape for fabric is very, very sticky. It is not meant to be reusable. Once you finish your project, you will cut it off and then take it to the framer. Um, so two different options. Um, and again, it all comes down to personal preference, which you prefer. So there are 15 different sizes of scroll rods from the small six inch all the way up to the huge 48 inches. Um, so it gives you so many different um, options, uh, stitching options, you know, based on the size of your project. Now past uh, 24 inches, the size of the diameter of the scroll rod changes. It goes from half an inch up to 5 eighths inch. The longer the scroll rod and you scroll it up, the more tendency that rod has to bow. So that's why the rod, when they're longer, are heavy dutier. Now, that being said, 18, 20, 22, and 24 have both options. You can get the regular half an inch or you can get the heavy duty um, 5 eighths inch. Okay, so let's talk about the sidebars. There are five different sizes of sidebars, six, eight, 10, 12, and 16. The three smallest have three holes, top, middle, and bottom. Now, that size I mentioned, that is the distance from hole to hole. It's not the distance of the sidebar itself. That six inches is from here to here, from hole to hole. So the, those three smallest have three holes. The 12 and the 16 have multiple holes. They're holes every two inches. This gives you so many uh, placement options of your, of your scroll frames. Um, you know, you can, I mean, you can have the 16 inch one, but you can still bring it in really close together. It gives you lots and lots of placement options. For example, when I bead, I will use the longer sidebars um, and extend them to the furthest area that way when I'm scrolling up and getting to my next section, I'm not smooshing on my beads and such. So all the sidebars work with all the scroll rods. Okay, so let's talk about the scroll frame sets that are available. There are 14 different scroll frame sets included in both tape and webbing versions from eight inches all the way up to 36 inches. Um, they include a pair of uh, scroll rods, a pair of sidebars, four knobs, and if you get the tape version, a roll of tape as well. There are also two specialty sets, the Starter Set and the Stitcher's Delight. Now these are available only in the tape version. The Starter Set includes the 6, 12, and 18 inch scroll rods along with the six and the eight inch sidebars, four knobs and a roll of tape. The Stitcher's Delight includes the six, eight, 10, 12, 
14, 16, and 18 inch scroll rods, along with the six and the eight inch sidebars, uh, four knobs, and a roll of tape. These are a great way to jump right into using scroll frames. Okay, so let's say you already have several of the scroll rods, but you want a lap stand. We've created what we call a leg kit. It includes both the legs, the feet, the spacers, and um, all the knobs that you need, along with the screw that goes from the sidebar through the spacer into the leg. This can make any scroll rod you have um, a lap stand just by getting the leg kit. And again, any size scroll rod can go on this, whether you're putting the six inch, which that would be great if you could fit that over your lap, or the 48 inch um, scroll rods on the legs. Um, either way, um, you can create it into a lap stand for yourself. Okay, so let's talk about our Easy Stitch lap stand. The lap stand comes with 20 inch scroll rods, 12 inch sidebars, and the legs. Now, with this, because you've got the 12 inch sidebars, um, you can really place your um, scroll rods at any distance. The sidebars have you know, holes every two inches. So you can place the rods at any distance apart. The uh, legs have several different adjustments for um, you know, height. You just find the one that's most comfortable for you. I have found that, especially when stitching on a couch, the placement of where you put the legs really does depend on how fluffy or firm your couch is, how much the um, lap stand sinks into the couch. Again, it's just kind of trial and error to figure out what placement is right for you. One tip I will give you on this lap stand is it is fully, you know, you can turn it over all the way to get to the back of your um, project. However, the screw that goes into um, the legs, you will need to loosen that uh, knob on the end, flip it over, flip it back, get a screwdriver, and tighten that back down. Um, if that's not done, that screw will wear into the wood and it will even do wear on the knob. So you really wanna loosen that, flip it over, flip it back, get a screwdriver, and tighten that back down. Okay, so let's talk about the Easy Stitch floor stand. The floor stand is for large projects. Um, it is adjustable from 24 inches all the way up to 48 inches. It comes with the 30 inch scroll rods and 10 inch sidebars. And then of course, all the elements that create the floor stand itself. The legs, the cross braces, the arms, elbows, feet, and ankles. Um, it comes with all that. Um, the floor stand fits um, the scroll rods that are 24, 30, 36, 42, and 48 inches wide. <laughs> so it gives you the perfect stand to do your large, large projects on. Now, just as the lap stand has a screw here, the floor stand has a little bit different. There's a knob on both sides of the um, sidebar and the arm. You loosen both of those up, you flip it back over, slide your thread under, flip it back, tighten those back down, and you have your tension back in place. So the floor stand is perfect for those large, large projects. So let's talk about the benefits of using a scroll frame. First, you are no longer touching your fabric. You are holding a scroll frame. Your fabric is no longer gonna get dirty and wrinkled um, by you know scrunching it up and holding it and everything. You're holding the scroll frame, your hands are barely touching the fabric. This is perfect when you're using hand-dyed fabrics because you can't wash that. So uh, the scroll frames are fabulous for that. Your fabric is now all scrolled up on the scroll rods. Um, it's not being smooshed together in your hand, wrinkled and dirtied by the hand oils in your, in your hand. Now you can just simply um, stitch it up. Once you're done, cut that tape off, take it to the framer. You don't have to worry about washing it anymore. It's all nice and protected in the scroll frame. Another benefit is two-headed stitching. Um, now that you're no longer holding uh, the hoop, you can use both hands to stitch. I love this because it feels to me like my stitches are neater because they're going straight up and straight down instead of to the side. 
Um, I feel like my stitches are a lot, lot neater when I'm doing two-handed stitching. That is it for this Easy Stitch product overview. Head on over to my needlework blog on embroidery.com. I will have everything I've talked about uh, linked in there. I have all kinds of other Easy Stitch product videos as well. How to assemble the lap stand, how to assemble the floor stand, how to attach the tape to the fabric, all kinds of other instructional videos. Make sure you turn your notifications on because that's how you'll know a new video is up. As always, I love to hear your comments and suggestions, so leave those for me below. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Happy stitching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.